the audio just I couldn't hear any of the any of the audio and then I tried to record it with a different um like a different software and then that just kept going like freezing just over one second so there was pretty much nothing it recorded but it didn't record everything it just recorded a second over and over again so now I'm doing or I'm using another software all right so this video was about basically 10 different signs to tell that somebody is depressed and I wanted to do another video because it's so much more than this month. Also, because I saw this video about a girl and she said her best friend actually had depression and she killed herself. And that was on TikTok about probably a week ago, so I figured this could help anybody who's in that situation or who has a friend that's like, you don't know if they're depressed, but you might think they are, so these 10 signs will help you figure out if they are. Okay, the first sign was appetites. So, if you're, if everything's going good and you're not depressed, of course, they'll just eat regularly, whatever. But say that person, that person is depressed, then they'll probably just be less interested to eat, like they'll being, their energy will be low with strong and they might not want to eat because they just don't see the point since they're so sad. This, it could be either they have too little, too much, basically, it could be, it could be from one end to the spectrum to the other, and this could Lead to health issues, of course, possibly lose weight, like that. And it turns out some studies even link increased inflammation in the body as a sign of depression. Okay, the next sign is focus. So, of course, if you're talking to a person and they're just not paying attention, say they're zoning out a lot and they just have a hard time listening they're like very not engaged or whatnot that could mean that they have the person <laughs> one example would be like say if they normally have clean clean house and then you come visit them one day and then all of a sudden it's a mess then obviously there's something going on possibly Okay, and this is a, the next thing, is a term, next sign, the term is called smiling depression, which is basically that on the outside they're smiling, they're, you know, conversating with people, they're talking and whatnot, not being really drawn, but on the inside they are depressed, so it's basically just hiding depression with a smile or whatever. And I know that I experience, which I, do, I have done that before. Next sign is mood. So say they are like very withdrawn and they're just not as outgoing as they normally are. They could have mood change, mood swings, yeah, changes that way. They could be happy one minute and then sad the next. Mm, that could be an indicator. The next sign is exhaustion. So say they are inconsistent with their bedroom bedtime routine, say they stay up like one day, oh, sorry, and then go to sleep early the next day, but then stay up the next two days. If the person doesn't get enough sleep, that could affect them during the day and whatnot. Also, if they're like struggling with negative mental thoughts, that will keep them from going to sleep and that will end up leading to them staying up, but I have history of Okay, the next one, next sign is inclination to hobbies, which is basically they don't enjoy hobbies like they used to. They don't want to do the hobbies anymore. They're like, what's the point and what not? And like if they say if they try to do any hobbies, they just are not interested at all. 
Next sign is the low zest, which is basically just having the, the first, not personality, their, um, I guess their energy is, like, very low, they're, like, not conversing with people, they're not, well, sorry, they're not enjoying life, like, you can just tell that their energy is just, like, not very positive. And then the next sign is physical pains. So basically all the things that, all the signs that I've talked about, of course, are going to take a toll on the body. So then that comes into digestive issues, back pains, and headaches could be, could happen more often. And, of course, over time this could be worse than it. So it's not good. Of course, the next one is sleeping pattern. Oh no no, hold on. There's two more guys. Okay, the next one is lack of optimism, which is basically kind of what I said earlier with like the low zest. They're just they're not optimistic. They're very negative and just withdrawn. And like they're just so disconnected so just overall just not very positive and the last one which i did talk about a little bit already which is sleeping pattern so of course if you're not getting enough sleep that's gonna affect your body and one 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 fact i did learn a while back is that if you don't sleep enough, then your body can't heal because your body is actually healing, repairing itself while you're sleeping. So it's definitely important to get sleep. Now, overall, I would say is the fortune to help if you can. I know sometimes people don't want help, but if this is you, then you have to you have to get help because sooner or later it's just going to get worse, and suicide is not the option. It just, it doesn't help family, it doesn't help anybody. Yes, it may take away his pain, but then you won't, you won't get to live a full life. You're not gonna get to see so many things and you'll miss out. And it's just, I hope this at least helps somebody so they can help a friend or they can notice before it's too late. I'm sorry this is kind of late, guys, but I have been having technical difficulties. And I'll probably have another video out on the weekend, possibly. All my other videos, and well, some of my other videos will be linked down below in the comments. Not in the comments, in the description box. I'll have some linked down below. So go check those out and like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later.